I'm Adam Lowe, I'm the creative producer of the Victorian State School Spectacular. Here I am inside Norwest Productions in Port Melbourne, uh, one of our production partners uh, for the Victorian State School Spectacular. Today's rehearsal is a combination of audio crew, video crew and the rhythm section. Um, it's the final of three pre-production rehearsals for the technical teams. Um, and what we're achieving today for the audio guys, obviously they've been here for a few hours before the musicians to make sure all the instruments were set up, all the cables were run, the system was put together. And they've been spending time working with uh, Greg and Marcus from Norwest to refine their understanding of the balance of things like the foldback and the main PA and the different instruments in the mix and uh, you know, learning to use the, 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 the technology. Uh, our video crew, thanks to John and Liam from CVP, are here today for the first time integrating with the audio system, you know, when you do an outside broadcast with a camera crew, you connect to the audio locally and the, the, they've brought a three camera system in today with vision switching. having to get used to how quickly they have to frame their shots, get the focus right, do the iris work, so that Alex, who's one of the students doing the vision switching, can uh, be musically creative with his selection of shots uh, for a, a program mix, as, they call, as you'd call it, of the videos. My name's Greg Milliken, also known as Spike. I work for Norwest. I'm doing the music mix for the Victorian State School Spectacular. I've been involved with the Spectacular for six years now. Um, it's a gig that's very close to my heart. I love doing the gig. I love working with the kids. I love working with the people from the PAU. Uh, I think it's a really, I think it's a really good thing that's being done by the Victorian government. What we're trying to do is we're trying to teach them basic principles that apply to any show that they work on in the future rather than necessarily just school spec. The actual specifics regarding school spec will actually, um, will actually come to light during production week when, when it's all in. But the idea is that they learn to work with each other, learn to work with different departments, and learn how to interpret and pass on information. Uh, and a lot of what they are a lot of what they've got to learn is how to deal with people and it doesn't matter whether you're doing audio, lighting, vision or anything else, um, you've always got to deal with people uh, and I'm happy that the key, I'm, I'm happy that these students are working for audio but if they suddenly decide well audio is not really for me I think I'm more into lighting or, or vision that's fine too. Yeah hi I'm John from CVP uh, we've been delighted to be involved with State School Spectacular for several years and uh, today we've got the third session where we've got students come along to learn and understand how to uh, put the vision gear together. We specialise in the vision components on the show, both live to screen and also distribution of vision around the venue for all the operators to, to do their magic. Um, and the students come and learn how to set up gear, how to uh, troubleshoot and how to operate. And uh, the exposure with the students being able to play with real industry gear at quite a young age. And, uh, and for us the joy is to see the spark that comes from kids as they, as they really use real industry gear, learn from industry professionals um, and, and are able to just sort of develop on and see whether this might be something that they pursue. Mm -hmm. 